Well, as we head into the summer months, the 100 deadliest days for teens is now underway. It's the period between Memorial Day and Labor Day when crashes are more likely. Fox 5's Kim Luffler spoke to a father who lost his son in a crash. He's now working to keep other young people safe. About a third of fatal crashes involving teen drivers happen during the summer months, but experts say there are steps parents can take to make sure their teens are staying safe behind the wheel. The dangers for young people behind the wheel during the summer is something Mike Lutzenkergen knows all too well. His son, Philip, a star football player at both Lasseter High School and Auburn University, was riding in the car with friends in June 2014 when the car flew into a ditch. The family says Philip was not wearing his seatbelt and was killed at just 23 years old. I don't use the term accident. All the decisions that were made by that weekend by Philip and his friends that were in that vehicle, their four kids, they were choices and they were poor choices. So it's called a crash. He's now made it his mission to help others make better decisions behind the wheel through his Let's See 43 Foundation. It's especially important for young people this time of year. In Georgia, AAA says about 89 teen drivers are involved in fatal crashes each year, 25 of those during the summer months. Those crashes result in about 96 deaths each year, 28 during the 100 deadliest days. They may be heading to fun events versus school or practices. They let their discipline down, their guard down a little bit. AAA says distracted driving, other teens in the car, speeding and not wearing a seatbelt can all play a role in summertime crashes. Statistically, had Philip had a seatbelt on no matter where he was in that vehicle, he'd be alive today statistically. Butson Kurgan encourages parents to set a time to drive with their kids to see how they're acting behind the wheel. To get back in that car with your kids where you're sitting in that front passenger seat acting as the driver's ed teacher, and let that child just demonstrate to you their behavior behind the wheel. Experts say it's also important for parents to lead by example by putting their phone away, buckling up, and avoiding distractions. It's something they say kids can notice even before they start to drive. In Atlanta, Kim Luffler, Fox 5 News.